All right. Uh, Sogfest was a huge success once again. Thank you, everybody who uh, attended. Thank you to Lit for being our surprise band who came out and just blew Amazing. the roof off the place. Uh, Natural Heights did a great job. Radio Drone, awesome. And the bikini contest that Hermosa Beach was so kind as to cancel the very last minute. Day before. Um, yeah. Um, we had to slam that on top of what we normally do at Sogfest. And it ended up being like the chocolate in my peanut butter your blessing, peanut butter's in my yeah, chocolate blessing in disguise as they say <laughs> it ended up being great because yeah during between the the bands the unsigned bands from Stairgo, uh we had the bikini contest and a lot of girls came out i think we had uh let's see 16, 16? the top 16 we, well, girls we narrowed it down that, to 16, um, yeah. that applied online and uh and throughout the night, I think the audience really liked that. And we did crown a winner of the very first KLO Ass Bikini Contest. And her name is Tatum Miranda. Where is she? Get her in here. There she oh my is. Goodness. Just as pretty How are you? Here, you're going to stand right here. There's your microphone. <laughs> Let me help you out here. Good to see you again. You too. Good. And look, you have like a lot of clothes on. I know. This is, it's early. <laughs> and it's cold it, in cold here, outside. see? It, I is it really cold outside? Well, it's, it's early in the morning, yeah, still, yeah. And the thing is, I always tell you, is that girls want to be warm. And if you want girls to be in less clothing, we got to keep the studio a little bit warmer. Because the studio's always, <laughs> it's like, oh my God, the studio's Yeah, so but cold. also a very cold studio can well, be, you know, yeah, but you know nobody, I'm talking about, Tana. Yeah, but nobody wants to take their clothes off. I think I asked you that <laughs> night, we were doing a little uh, Q&A section, uh, where you're from, and you said Alaska. Yeah. What part? Um, my family lives in Eagle River, which is outside of Anchorage, um, but my dad's actually military and he retired up there, so I moved there when I was about 13 and I lived there for eight years. Was that the worst news of your life when you're like, hey, we're moving to Alaska? <laughs> we actually lived in Iceland before oh, that. Which so I was beautiful. Yeah, it is amazing. So I was already used to that type of weather. So um, are you hardcore Alaska? Because I, I watch uh, Alaska, the the last frontier with uh, Jules dad and all then mm. that whole her, her whole family got that new show um it's so sled necks it's they do <laughs> yeah it's like it's a bunch of rednecks right. but they're from Alaska yeah. and they, <laughs> it's such a good show but I mean these people like they can uh, off the land like are you um, able to I'm able to do a lot I love camping and fishing I hike I do all the outdoor stuff I snowboard like if you caught a fish you would be able to prepare it I, for, I don't know. my dad does okay I, I'll just catch it and, and then go but oh, you don't mind going yeah. out and you're yeah, like we're, we're going camping in the, in the rough for a week and yeah, you're like we okay we go out there for days and just chill and a little like we used to hike about three miles with all of our stuff and jump in a canoe and canoe across the lake and pitch up you know our tents on the little island there and stay out there for like That's good to hear. Uh, I mean, out yep. here in Southern California, when I mean, you see somebody like Tatum walking down the street, you wouldn't think, hey, I could take her camping. <laughs> right. Yeah. She likes to say, this girl likes it. to go fishing. Yeah. yeah the five cool. star camping at the hotel mm -hmm. is yeah. what uh, a lot of girls are into. I want to go back to the bikini contest, though. Because, yes, please. Um, um, so that <laughs> night, like when you were all, you all met each other and you're all backstage because we weren't able to see what you guys were doing. Mm -hmm. But so did you, you, do people automatically start sizing up each other to see like how I'm going to do in this thing? Is um, it, was there a, a little, little bit? A little bit. I mean, I obviously had out kind of my top picks or who I thought would do well um, I knew one of the girls beforehand actually oh, you did. I had told her about it and she came um, but I mean everyone was really nice there wasn't really any kind of did anybody I've done other contests where there's girls that are just really super catty yeah yeah, yeah there, it wasn't like, like that like sabotage like you can't find your top you're like <laughs> where I can't find my top and they're like calling my number <laughs> and that was probably because that was my fault I stole it uh, uh. it was a nice like Group, group of, of people. Yeah, group. Cool. Yeah. Did any girls see you and go, I'm out, and just leave <laughs> the venue? No? Not, not this time. It's happened, <laughs> it's happened before. before. I've actually had a contest get canceled before because they found out that I was competing and they straight up, like, all the girls quit and didn't <gasps> even have the contest. Now that's hot. That, that's when yeah. you know you're hot. It oh was in, that was in Alaska. That was a long time ago. Oh, yeah, okay, so as far as Alaska girls go, I mean, you they were a transplant from Iceland. It's a small town. But, yeah, yeah, but you moved there. You're 13 years old. Those those years when it's probably awkward as a girl and you're becoming a woman, and all of a sudden you come to town. Are girls in Alaska, were they like rough-looking girls, the girls out there on the crab boats and stuff, and then you come to town? <laughs> no, no, there's, I mean, it's a city. Anchorage is a big city. We have clubs. There's, you know, there's a bunch of people there. There's a good group of it's girls. It's not like they they just, from yeah, the north. I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not from the little, like, you know, the little 
we're, cities and stuff. I'm from the big. But they were still disappointed town. when you left. They're like, no, <laughs> no, yeah. she's. I mean, ours. it's nice when I go back. I go back every Christmas because my family still lives there. So when the weather's nice, I understand yeah, that. Yeah, just oh, twenty God. below. Alaska Christmas. Yeah, I went on an Alaskan cruise, and I think I went at the wrong time of the year because it was dark the entire time. Yeah. So I was like. I think the the cruise are like I, oh no you if you come here at the right time of year it's amazing it's beautiful mm-hmm. you can see all the glaciers you can see like I don't know who booked you ever been up with. close to a grizzly bear? Um, no, actually, you I lived to? there for eight years and I saw one black bear once when I went back for vacation after I left. I never I saw a lot of moose. I never saw. All right, anything. so if you see a grizzly bear, what do you do? There's not a whole lot. You, they say play dead, yeah, but when you yeah, see okay. one, you're not going to want to no, do that. The human instinct is not going to be like, oh, I'll just <laughs> you're lay like here. A, you're a play toy, I think, and uh, they get bored with you and leave, but you're yeah. alive. No, because it's weird because of what? The grizzly bears are supposed to play dead, and the. The black bears, you're just screwed. Like, you're they, screwed. You're right. They, it doesn't matter. You got to get yeah, it. Yeah, there's a story in the news about a guy <laughs> in Canada. Uh, he got mauled by a grizzly bear over the weekend, and. Uh, it was arguably one of the uh, the second worst thing that happened to him that day because as he's getting mauled, the guy, a fellow hunter in the woods, heard him like ah, screaming for help, and he comes over and he's trying to scare the bear, so he tries to shoot the bear, ends up shooting the guy. Oh. Well, the gunshot scared off the bear at least, but he got shot and mauled by a bear in the same day. <laughs> I thought the bear were looking at me. Well, thank you. Day. Slowed him down for me. Now, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of food, I'm going back to the bikini contest because this fascinated me. <laughs> Please do. Um, when we were backstage and we're like everybody's running around and everything, and our our boss Derek Madden, program director here at the station, did a McDonald's run and got like <laughs> 70 chicken McNuggets for the girls. Yeah. You're telling me. You're so confident that in a bikini, you sat down and ate before you came out. Oh, I have a picture of me and my friend holding all the McDonald's, and I ate the entire thing of McNuggets before I came back Before you came back Is this something you can do because... I honestly, and I hate to say it because I feel bad because I know there's a lot of girls that absolutely hate it, but I've been on a pizza diet for the past two months, and I haven't been to the gym. In probably two months. What made but you I decide? Just, I have really good genetics. I've always been really small. Mom is, mom is tiny. So. My mom's really small, yeah. And I, I compete in NPC fitness shows, so I have very good muscle memory. So when I do train, like... You snap it, right it's, back. Yeah, it stays for a long time. I never really have to... So the fitness shows are pretty much what? Bikini contests, but just with muscles? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I used to compete. I started in 2009, and the last show I did was about two years ago. But I did really well. I won the California State. Um, I took fifth in the USA's and second in North Americans. Look at that. And I she was a solid fist. And, you're right. And strong. So what's be- best workout to get super sculpted cut arms? Where people go, my God, you have amazing <laughs> arms. What's that workout? Um, for arms is the hardest thing for me. Arms are really difficult, but I actually have a trainer. I train with Team Blade with Dexter Jackson, and I just do whatever they tell me to do. They send me different workouts all the time. Um, and you ever I thought do- about getting into Ultimate Fighting? <laughs> no, I think that's a little too too much. Too well, I'm just saying. I mean, me. I mean, I don't yeah. know. I don't know how tough you are. I mean, you're mentioning all this, uh, the working out and stuff, yeah. and being. Muscly and badass. It's about I mean, being I'm feminine yeah. and being. Fit. I'm not, much, oh, no, of a, I'm not much of a fighter. I've never been in a fight in my life, so. Right. <laughs> I'm where I let my friends jump in, and I kind of go. <laughs> Take it, girls. <laughs> this so lady's do, pissed. Do you have? Uh, you're big on social media because yes. now, I mean, you can actually turn that into a career. Yeah. I mean, so I've you, actually been told a few times recently I need to up my social media game. So I've been. Are you on Vine? Working. I just got Vine like two weeks ago, pretty recently. Because there was a, uh, a a girl in the news named Jessica Vanessa and she was a kindergarten teacher uh-huh. but she went as a Vine account and started doing twerking videos oh, yeah. on Vine and she became so mega popular I mean she's uh, several million followers that she was making more money just putting in six second videos than yeah. she was as a kindergarten teacher <laughs> so she crazy. quit her job and now <laughs> that's all she does to hell with the kids I'm twerking she just twerks <laughs> Oh that's my God! Amazing. Is this? I mean, when you're thinking about uh, the the future, are you? I mean, are you trying to do to be like um to make the money from social media, trying to get followers that way? Do you have um, a manager it that definitely, way? No, I don't have a manager for it. I'm actually a musician. I sing, so it's good for me to promote my music. And I'm also doing acting. I'm currently in production of a, a horror film that I'm shooting right now. Today's my only day off. Oh yay! Um, so it's just good to kind of get my name out there, and that way, when my projects come out and things you know happen, I've got more. Don't ruin it, but do you people. die in the movie? Um, I, I do, but pretty close to the end. So right, it's, right. it's a good, a good, horrible death. It's, a, it's very memorable. I, it's, I think it's probably the second worst in the film. Is it, is it, <laughs> is it unique in the horror genre, how you die or, um, yeah, I would say so. Like the, the theme of the film is very unique. It's called most likely to die. I can say that much. It hasn't officially been released yet, but it should be out pretty soon. It's a, it'll be 
a lot of fun. I think it's meant to be out around Halloween next year. So. Oh, perfect. And you also sing. Well, the, the bands that played that night at Sogfest mm-hmm. uh, were discovered right here on this show okay. on Fridays. I didn't get to hear any at, of them. At, yeah. yeah, you're backstage. backstage. <laughs> Fridays at 9 uh, in the morning, we always uh, let a band play their music and let the, the audience decide if they should stay and pursue their dreams of being musicians or if they yeah. should go away forever. And uh, you're you're a singer, huh? Well, <laughs> let me be the first time we have the, the Kalo Ass Bikini Contest winner also be a contestant on Sogfest. Oh, my God. Yeah. So you have to submit your music to us. Okay. What kind of and music then come is back. it? It's, um, it's a kind of a mix of alternative pop, new age Okay. Um, I use a lot of live instruments. I have live drums, guitars. Um, I have a very New Ages feel. Do you production. play an instrument too? I don't. I'm learning how to play the drums, but I just started. But I, I just sing. Um, but I have a whole team of people working for me, uh, and we're aiming to have the album out next year. So hang your busy girl. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see how you will do as a. Um traffic reporter okay i do have the traffic right here right. if you want to read the traffic for uh, los angeles everyone's out there in traffic right now listen to the heidi Frank show you? Uh, you, you can sing the traffic if you'd like if you, <laughs> if you want to sing it there that's the traffic report so we've been doing this uh, with our guests recently so uh here's tata miranda with the traffic the 210 westbound is hammered right now there was a big accident on the 10 West and people jumped on the 210 Westbound, backing it to the Glendora Curve. The eastbound 91 freeway SIG alert has been all cleaned up, but there is an accident on the West 91 near Tustin. Eastbound 60 at Garfield has the right lane blocked, and in the valley, the 405 South slows down from Roscoe to Sunset, but is clear to LAX. Sky Lord, you're fired. That, that was like the sexiest traffic our, I've our ever traffic heard in my guy life. Just got fired. Oh, yes, well. he's gone. It's Tatum Miranda with the traffic from now on. All oh, right. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming in. And congratulations! Can't wait on for everything. the, the uh, Kalo Ass uh, 2015 calendar to come out. Yeah. I know you're working with our promotions Excited. department. We're going to set up, set that all up and look for that uh, available very very soon uh, at Tatum Miranda on Twitter. So be sure and go follow her there. Thanks. Come back soon. Thank we'll you. be right back. We are Heidi and Frank. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. Now, to get the show in its entirety, on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day, all you have to do is go to HeidiandFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.